When they were well out to sea, the pirate captain told his men to bind Dionysus with ropes and put him down in the dark hold of the ship. But when they tried to do so, the ropes fell again and again from his hands and feet as soon as they had been tied. Then the helmsman cried, We are mad to do this! It must be one of the immortals whom we are carrying in our ship. It may be Apollo, or Poseidon, or great Zeus himself. Let us set him free and bear him with all honor over the waves to Greece, lest he grows angry and is fearfully avenged upon us. The captain was furious. Madman yourself, he shouted. You look after your own job and will attend to this fellow. It fetches a fine price in Egypt or in Sidon. Depend upon it. Then they hoisted their sails and sped away over the dancing waves with a fair wind behind them. But soon strange things began to happen. First, a sweet smell of wine rose from the hold of the ship, and a stream of it coursed across the deck. And then, while the sailors stood still in amazement, the mast and spars of the ship began to pull forth leaves and long, raving tendrils. Grapes grew in great dark bunches down either side of the sails, and the thorn pins between which the long oars rested grew up into vines clustered with flowers. When the pirates saw all this, they cried out to the helmsman to turn the ship and steer for Greece with all the speed he could. But their remorse came too late, for even as they turned towards Dionysus to beg his mercy, he changed into a fierce lion and came bounding along the deck towards them. With shrieks of terror they sprang over the sides into the, the sea, and were changed immediately into dolphins, all except Achaetes, the helmsman, who sat rooted to his seat with terror. Then Dionysus returned to his usual shape and spoke to him kindly. Do not be afraid, good Achaetes. You counseled your evil companions to treat me as they should, and you have found favor in my heart. Know that I am Dionysus, son of immortal Zeus, and that I travel to the land of Greece, bearing the gift of wine to be a comfort and a joy to all mankind.